Cyber Monday is now gone. Black Friday is now gone. The gift giving season is definitely, I promise I will, I want underway. those waffles. <laughs> no matter who you're buying for, whether it's for Antoine, for me, or maybe just for yourself, you want to make sure that the items that you're purchasing are actually safe. You may recall last year the craze was all about the hoverboard, mm -hmm. uh, but then they caught fire. So joining us now with some tips on what to buy, what not to buy, and all those little extras, we have our tech expert in, Shelly Palmer. Good Shelly's morning to here. you. Good morning. How are you? Hey, the, Shell. The big thing with the hoverboard, let's just piggyback off of that, was the battery, yeah. right? Okay, yeah. so let's talk about batteries not included, and you have to get them. Well, not only do you have to get them, you have to make sure that if you buy something with a battery in it, like a hoverboard, that, isn't, that it's name brand, because the thermal runaway problem, which makes the boards catch fire and possibly explode, that is all about no-name batteries and batteries that were manufactured improperly. So if you have a lithium-ion battery, it doesn't need to be trained, which means you don't need to leave it in the charger forever, but but you have to be a little careful with them to make sure they're name brand. The other problem this holiday season is the button battery. What does that do? This is a little, just, these are little batteries that come with electronic tech toys, and they're so thin and they're so small, they are easy to eat. So if you have little kids running around the house and you're buying tech toys and they have button batteries, while the batteries are not included, you gotta be really careful with the kids, um, you know, and button yeah. batteries. These are crazy small, and there are lots, a lot, there were 2,800 issue, um, incidents last year where kids swallowed these, and it's it's not good for you. Trust me, okay. batteries should not be eaten. How do you get the hottest toys? The hottest toys, you know, that, everybody asks that question all the time. There are a couple websites out there. One of the, the best ones called nowinstock.net. And if you've been there, you can get an alert either by email or by text, and they'll tell you when the toy you're looking for becomes available somewhere, and then you can go and get it. Okay, and as far as Shelly's picks are concerned, uh, <laughs> I'm going to go out on a limb and say there's a lot of tech products on that list. <laughs> for me, it's Just me, well, I'll guess. So I have like three toys I really like. On the high end, there's a robot called Cosmo, and it has a personality because it uses machine learning, and it'll talk to you, and it'll become your friend, and it also works with your smartphone, and it's really spectacular. So you kind of have a smartphone and a robot and little kids. What could be better than smartphones, robots, and little kids? It's about 179 bucks, you know, in, in and out of the world. Okay. Then there's 3D printing craze has been all over the place. If right. you have a little kid, it's hard to have a 3D printer for a little kid. So for um, about... 20 bucks. There's a thing called the um, 3D ImagiPen, and you it's not electric. Um, it's battery operated. It's not through the wall, so there's no heat involved. You can actually draw in 3D, and you can kind of build up this 3D uh, image. For 20 bucks, it's really cool. And then if you don't have the $179 for the robot, for about $14, there's a little tin can robot kit that I love. You can see them on Amazon, and basically you take uh, a soda can and some parts, and it rolls around. So that's kind of super fun. Tech so, toys for kids. Can you tweet these out so we can make sure that our viewers get them too? Absolutely. Absolutely. Or ShellyPalmer.com. They're listed there. And we will retweet them. Uh, that's awesome. Shelly Palmer, thank you. Good to All see right. you, Shell.